Hi, my name is Emily Casto, and this is my intro video for our social studies course. Um, I am in my third year of teaching kindergarten. I teach at a Title I school in South Cobb, in, South, in um, Cobb County, and um, I like it. I love being a kindergarten teacher. It's uh, very different from all of the other grades, just because we spend a lot of time building foundational skills. Um, and then in my school, or in my classroom, usually about half of my students come um, speaking Spanish, and um, so I'm usually building up a lot of English skills at the same time that I'm building academic foundational skills. Uh, and with that, in relation to social studies, is that they usually need a lot of uh, building up of background knowledge and even um, simple phrases that relate to social studies. So not only do they need to lo learn vocab, but they have to learn the vocabulary and grammar that I'm using to even explain certain vocab concepts and then concepts of time and history are always interesting to teach as well um, to uh, five-year-olds. So um, I like the challenge. I love being a kindergarten teacher. Uh, this is my third semester at West Georgia in my master's program. I started in the summer. It's been going really well and I hope that it continues to and then I'll be halfway there at the end of this semester. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so for me, I've been uh, fairly basic with my social studies instruction. And I feel like there are just two main reasons for that. And, and I know that there is a better way to teach social studies. Like I know that I could do a better job of integrating it more into their lives. There is a more comprehensive way to teach it. I, I've, I know and I agree with the right way to teach it. But being at a Title I school where our test scores are very low, it means that we have a very hard focus on our ELA and math curriculum and we hardly ever talk about science and social studies. So even though I teach it, um, usually if I haven't spent all my time building up background knowledge and getting the basics of the standards and the concept down, then we kind of run out of time for it altogether. So as much as I love social studies, I really do struggle to, to make it, to make it, feasible, make it a reality. Um, but I would really, I'm really looking forward to hopefully learning, maybe get more inspiration to put more effort into it and make it what it, what I know it can be. Um, so, you know, I don't have a lot of time for social studies at the end of the day, just with everything else that we have to do, like even just data collection can take over that time of day. So a lot of the time, you know, you have to integrate it. You have to put it somewhere else if it can't fit in the time that you have for it. So I usually integrate it easily into um, ELA. So we read stories about some of the concepts. Uh, we read informational books about lots of the different types of things using PebbleGo Junior. Um, and then what's really always fascinating is when we start informational writing, my kids will really remember they'll really pick up on what we've been talking about in social studies and they'll start writing about it. So that's always really fun because at the same time that I'm teaching them writing concepts and how to make their writing better, we're also talking about and reviewing social studies concepts and if one kid is working on it then everyone around him when we're talking about it is work can listen about it too and gets reminded too like oh yeah. Um, and then you know we do lots of writings with how to be a good friend, how to be a good citizen, Sometimes we write about what we want, what we need, um, just some kindergarten standards. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting to know everyone through the discussion board and uh, going, seeing what this course has for me to take back to my classroom. So good luck, everybody. I'll see you in there.